Hello and welcome back. This week you're getting some more wrestling questions and also the answers to last week's. You'll also have the chance to see how well my friends did and compare your answers to theirs and see if you beat them. I think you might. Which year was the ver very first WrestleMania held? Now, I think it's 1985. Yeah, let's go in 1985. Number one, the answer was 1985. What was the main event of the first WrestleMania? Now, I thought about this for a long time, right? And I think King Kong Bundy's in it, but I can't decide who is in it with King Kong Bundy. Because in my head, it's Hogan, but I don't know if it actually is. So I'm going to say Hogan and Bundy and know that only half of that is right. Number two. Hulk Hogan and Mr. T versus Paul Orndorff and Rowdy Roddy Piper. Uh, what was the main event of WrestleMania 35? Uh, that was the women, wasn't it? That was uh, Becky and Charlotte and Ronda. Number three, winner takes all. That was Ronda Rousey, Raw Women's Champion, Charlotte Flair, SmackDown Women's Champion, and Royal Rumble winner, Becky Lynch. Who won that match? Uh, that was... Becky, when, well, she won it with two one and a half counts because Ronda got her shoulder up in the crucifix thing. They messed up the main event of Mania. Or I don't drink. Pour one out for Becky, I guess. Number four, winner of that match was Becky Lynch. What WrestleMania had the largest attendance as claimed by WWE? Uh, I believe that was uh, WrestleMania 3, wasn't it? From the Pontiac Silverdome! And you know, all that. Vince being Vince. Number 5, WrestleMania 32. Who is the father of Bray Wyatt and Bo Dallas? In ring ring... In ring... Uh, in ring... In ring name or real name is acceptable. Uh, it's IRS. It's Urban R. Scheister. It's uh, Mike Rotunda. Varsity Club. All that stuff. The 6 was IRS or Mike Rotunda. Uh, which member of Too Cool is the son of Jerry the King Lawler? That is uh, Brian Christopher, Grandmaster Sexay. Number seven, Grandmaster Sexay. How were Owen Hart and the British Bulldog Davy Boy Smith related? Uh, I think they are brothers-in-law. Bulldog, Bulldog married Diana Hart, who is Owen's sister. Number eight, brothers-in-law. Which current female WWE wrestler is the cousin of The Rock? That would be, uh, you can't spell Botchamania without Nia Jax. Number nine, Nia Jax. Who is the brother of the genius Lanny Poffo? Ooh, yeah, all that stuff. Uh, it's Randy Savage, it's Macho Man. And number ten, the Macho Man Randy Savage. Ooh, yeah. Who has held more world titles in WWE? I want to say Sean. Because uh, I kind of feel like Brett didn't win it that many times anyway. I don't know why I have in my head. I have in my head that like Brett was a two, maybe three time champion max. I don't know. Question 11 was Brett Hart. He's won five world titles compared to Sean's four. Both have been multiple time tag team champions, but who has won it with the most different partners? I thought a lot about this question. Because... Brett had low, he had a huge tag team career, right? But I don't think he actually wrestled that many with that many partners. And even if he did, I don't think he was he was champion with that many partners. Like there's uh, Neidhart, and then maybe he did something with Owen. Maybe he did something with Bulldog. I don't remember. But I bet Sean has won it. With did he win it? I can assume they won it with Marty, the Rockers. I'm gonna assume there's a Triple H run in there somewhere because why wouldn't there be? And then I I don't know I I I'm pulling this out of my ass, but I'm gonna say Sean has won it with most different bars. But I'm this might be the question that I'm least confident of in this entire thing. Question twelve, Sean. Brett and Sean have faced off many times throughout their rivalry, starting with a tag team match on the MSG Network in November 1989. Of all their televised matches under the then WWF brand, excluding Royal Rumbles, who has won the most? 
all their televised matches. I want to say Sean has won more, but that also might just be my brain being warped and thinking Iron Man match or whatever. Is that 12? That can't be 12. I don't know. Question 13. It was a draw. Uh, who has main evented WrestleMania the most? Hearts matches at WrestleMania 9 does count as main events. What happened after it? So, the main events that I can remember Bret Hart being in were that one, WrestleMania 9 and the Hogan, Yokozuna, whatever the fuck that was. Uh, the one, the Iron Man match against Bret, so that, uh, the Iron Man match against Sean, rather, so that doesn't count because that counts for both of them, obviously. And apart from that main event, Bret Hart, at Mania, I don't, I don't remember it happening. It might have. But I don't remember. I Shawn Michaels has main evented. He main evented uh, against Austin at fourteen with Tyson as the ref, and then the Iron Man match. And then was one of the Taker matches main event. Oh, see, all the 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 HBK Taker stuff happened when I wasn't watching wrestling. I'm gonna say Shawn because just because I can't imagine it being Brett. Question 14. Brett with 5, Sean only with 2. Excluding Battle Royals, who has won the most WrestleMania matches? That has to be Brett. He wrestled on so many tag openers. That's got to be Brett. I can't believe that, Sean. Just because, uh, also, the, I, I'll name all the Sean Michaels matches I can remember from Mania. Uh... Lost to Austin at 14. Lost twice to Taker. Uh, he beat Brett in the Iron Man match and he beat. Um, brain shut off completely. Ric Flair. He beat Ric Flair. Uh, career ending, whatever you have. I don't know. See, I really think that Brett won a bunch of bad tag matches. Brett also lost a bunch and didn't have as many matches. And did the Rockers ever get on a WrestleMania? And did he win a match with fucking Marty on Wrestle fucking Mania? Oh, did Shawn Michaels beat Rick Martel in that match? What happened? I remember the OSW review episode. Ah. Uh... I think I'm talking myself into Sean. Sean. Sean has won the most WrestleMania matches. I don't think that's right. And question 15. Is Bret Hart with 8 compared to Sean's 6? Before becoming Stone Cold, he was stunning Steve Austin in WCW when he first joined WWF. What moniker was he known by? Uh, he was the ringmaster. And uh, he had the he had green trunks, and he hadn't shaved his head completely bald. It was just like a crew cut thing. And he had the the was that the million dollar belt with the 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 three dollar signs and the diamonds. I don't know. Question sixteen: The Ringmaster. When Kevin Nash and Scott Hall left for WCW, which wrestler took up the mantle of Diesel? I'll take either their current name or name previous to Fake Diesel. Uh, so that fake diesel was, um, Kane, was Glenn Jacobs. I'm mostly sure. I, yeah, yes, that's what, yes. Question 17, I will take either Isaac Yankum, DDS, or of course, Kane. We all know our truth possibly our current 24-7 champion. You need to reword that, Sif. But what was his name in his first run with WWE? Uh, he was Cade Quick, getting rowdy, going to move some things and all that stuff. Number 18, Cade Quick. I hate Dolph Ziggler. Doof Zoggler was a member of the Spirit Squad. What was his name? One, fuck Dolph Ziggler. Two, I believe he was Nicky. Isn't he Nick Nemeth? And so he, Nicky! Mikey! All that shit. I think he was Nicky. I'm going to say Nicky. Nicky. 
What name was the Godfather more commonly known by in mid nineties new generation era run? You gotta reword that one as well, Sif. So I love the Godfather. What I don't love is the is era fucking bullshit. So I don't know. You might be looking for Papa Shango or you might be looking for Kama Mustafa. I don't know when new generation era begins and stops and finishes. So I'm going to say Kama because I want to say Papa... Well, Papa Shango was earlier than mid-90s. So let's go with Kama Mustafa. Kama. I will also accept the last name if it accompanies Kama, which is Kama Mustafa. Catchphrases. Oh, as mentioned, Godfather top of the boy stable for me so here we go it's time once again to come aboard the oh, that's terrible tray <laughs> oh so bad but yes uh question 21 it's time once again to get aboard the ho train catchphrase of the godfather uh i lie i cheat i steal eddie guerrero Question 22. I lie, I cheat, I steal. Catchphrase of Eddie Guerrero. Anything can happen. Oh, I can't do a Vince voice in the World Wrestling Federation, but yeah, it's, it's Vince. Question 23. Anything can happen in the WWF. Vince McMahon on commentary duty. Woo, woo, woo. How you do it like that? You know it? He, I only learned, like, in the last, I'm going to say, six months. The reason he does this is because it's an L and an I, which I never got for Long Island. I always, I, I don't know what I thought, but I, I, that, I, I only recently pieced that together. Number 24. Woo, woo, woo. You know it. Zack Ryder. Have a nice day. And the hair pulling in the mask and it's mankind, it's Mick Foley. And 25, have a nice day, mankind. So I hope you've all done well. Let me know in the comments below as usual. And on to quiz number two. So as usual, round one is general knowledge. Who won the last match on the very first episode of Monday Night Raw? Question two, who won the 1995 King of the Ring? Question 3. After Bret Hart's match at Survivor Series 1997, who did Vince say? Screwed Bret. Question 4. How many different wrestlers has Mr. Fuji managed in the WWF? Question 5. What was the name of Zack Ryder's 2011 YouTube series? Round number 2 is going to be different to last week. It is firsts. Question number 6. Who was the first Intercontinental Champion? Question 7 who was the first European champion. Question eight, who was the first NXT champion? Question nine, who was the first universal champion? And question 10, who was the first 24 seven champion? Round three is versus, this time it's The Rock versus Stone Cold Steve Austin. Question 16, who was the first to win a title in WWF slash WWE? Question 17. Who was the first to become a Triple Crown winner in the WWF slash WWE? That is, a world title, a secondary belt, like the Intercontinental Championship, and of course, a tag team belt. Question 18. Who has won the most world titles? That includes whatever the WCW world title was known as when it was taken under by the WWE slash WWF. Question 19. As recognized by WWE, who has the most days combined as a world champion? And question 20. Which of these men made their acting debut first? Round 4 is formally known as. A lot of wrestlers have lost part of their names throughout the years. We're going to see if you can remember the first names of these wrestlers. Question 16. What was Cesaro's first name? Question 17. What was Rusev's first name? Question 18. What was Ali's first name? Question 19. What was Neville's first name? Question 20. What was The Undertaker's first name on the November 19th, 1990 taping of WWF Superstars? Round 5 is Catchphrases. Question 21. The best there is, 
The best I was. Question 22. All you've got to do is... Question 23. You just made... Question 24. The Mountie always... And question 25. You want some? As usual, there'll be another quiz this week, and I will also be giving you the answers to this week's quiz in that video. We'll also get to see how well my friends have done with this quiz in the next video. So as usual, if you haven't already, I'm going to tell you it's a good idea to subscribe and maybe hit that bell down below so you're notified when the next video goes up. And as always, remember, top marks get top marks. See ya!